Damn. Look at this. He's sharp. Holy shit! What's up everybody and welcome to this channel and on this channel I want to show you a little bit of what we do on a typical weekend. We're always hunting, fishing, boating and all things outdoors with friends and family and we decided why not start this new channel to kind of show you what we do on a typical weekend for fun. Let's go! Let's go, baby. Oh, they got off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice, baby. Let's go. Oh. Leopard shark. Son of a... Another one.
fucking go. Let go. Let go. Lee, yeah. Bro. Five feet. Five feet. All right, so this is a shark that I caught yesterday, last night, that Travis did not want to go with me last night. <laughs> I had marital problems, sorry guys. So we're gonna do a catching cook. See what we can do. Travis gonna play it up and see how it's gonna taste. The only concern is the ammonia taste is they pee through their skin. And I know they're high in mercury, but we're gonna test it out anyway. Little teeth. So we're pretty much going to do two, two different types of fish tacos. Uh, so we soak uh, the fish in milk for 24 hours to try to see if we can get any ammonia out um, or any smells. They didn't smell at all, but I just wanted to put milk just to make sure. But we're going to be doing grilled fish tacos and fried fish tacos. And we're pretty much going to do the same seasoning for both. Uh, so we're going to put them on a towel. Pat them dry. And some Cajun Creole seasoning. I'm going to do the same for both sides. Cut these up in strips where the tacos. And these are ready to go on the grill. All right, so for the fried fish tacos, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in flour, which I season them with pepper and salt, some eggs, and some breaded crumbs.
All right, so for the first, the fried fish tacos, I'm gonna use this deep fryer. Set it at 375, and we're gonna do about three minutes for these until they're nice and brown. Set it for about three minutes. And now for these shark steaks, we're gonna do them on the, this griddle. And I'm just using a little bit of olive oil. We're going to serve them in about two minutes. Alright, timer is up. Look at those, nice and brown. We're going to drain the oil a little bit. It looks pretty good. All right, so these grocers look like they're about done. About two and a half minutes, three minutes per side. Are we ready to eat? And then for the toppings, what I'm pretty much gonna do is, I'm gonna do some mayo for the sauce. Now I'm going to use some of my medium signature red hot sauce, some salsa, I'm just going to mix that up. That is our sauce. Also, gonna use some uh, homemade salsa. All right, now we're gonna uh, make some tortillas. Always recommend any kind of yellow corn tortillas. A little bit of olive oil on the pan. All right, so we're gonna do the first fish taco, we're gonna do the fried fish taco. Some cabbage. That's some of this little secret sauce I made earlier. And then some of this fresh homemade salsa. Made by Michelle. And we're also using this cilantro lime sauce I found at the store today. And that's your fried fish taco. Now we're gonna do a grilled taco. We'll prepare the same way. Some cabbage. Some sauce. Secret sauce. And then some salsa. Made by Michelle. Made by Michelle. Scroll. Really, Chuck? 
little bit of lime on both. Now it's time for the test. First time meeting shark. Good luck, sir. I'm good and white. Not fishy flavor at all. No ammonia flavor. And he did bite it, people. <clears throat> now let's try this griddle fish taco. That's really good as well. The meat is very firm. Really good flavor. Really good. Travis turn. All right, now Travis is gonna try. First time for leopard shark. Okay guys, I'm a bit skeptical here, but I know Danny's secret sauce is good on any meat. <laughs> Here pretty soon he's gonna have to make that recipe public. <laughs> We're gonna give the grilled taco a go. <laughs> that is delicious. It's actually really good. I'm from Texas, so we like everything fried. So now we're gonna try the fried. I don't even taste fish at all. That's how you cook a shark. I smell no fish, taste no salt water, and everybody talks about this ammonia. Amazing. And these are two chicken to try the leopard shark. Oh, and she made the salsa for it, but don't want to put it on her meat. Charles, you want to try a uh, shark taco? Come on, little Charles.